District of Columbia Public Schools is the local, traditional public school system of Washington, D.C. In the United States, DCPS should not be confused with the independently governed D.C. public charter schools, which also operates in Washington, D.C. Composition and Enrollment District of Columbia Public Schools consists of 111 of the 238 public elementary and secondary schools and learning centers located in Washington, D.C. These schools have a grade span of kindergarten to 12th grade and, as of 2000, a kindergarten entrance age of five years old. School is compulsory for DCPS students between the ages of 5 and 18. DCPS schools typically start the last Monday in August. The school day is generally approximately six hours. The ethnic breakdown of students enrolled in 2012 was 72% black, 14% Hispanic, 10% non-Hispanic white, and 4% of other races. The district itself is a population that is 42% non-Hispanic white, 51% black and 10% Hispanic. Gentrification and demographic changes in many D.C. neighborhoods has increased the white and Hispanic populations in the city, while reducing the black population. In 2008, DCPS was 84.4% black, 9.4% Hispanic, 4.6% non-Hispanic white, and 1.6% of other races. Facilities reform legislation in D.C. has led to many school openings and closings. The most recent closure announcement is that River Terrace Elementary School and Shahid Education Campus are shutting their doors at the end of the 2010-2011 and 2011-2012 school years, respectively. Students attending River Terrace Elementary School will transition with Emory Education Campus to the Langley Building. In addition, the Montessori program is expanding into the Montessori School. A part of this will be the Jefferson Sixth Grade Academy, which will only house sixth grade students. As of the 2009-2010 school year, there was a total enrollment of 43,866 students and 4,017 classroom teachers. The current student-to-teacher ratio is 10.92 an improvement from the 2006 Euro 07 ratio of 13.5. However, student enrollment was at a peak of 72,850 students with a much larger staff totaling 12,000. The reason for this sudden enrollment drop in DCPS is that the Public Education Reform Amendment Act of 2007 separated DC public charter schools from District of Columbia public schools. The District of Columbia passed charter school legislation in 1996, which went into effect in September 1999. The legislation gave the district the power to grant charters for 15 years. Although this is longer than the traditional three-euro five-year term observed in 31 other states, a required review takes place every five years. 4.4% of public school students enrolled in a charter school for the 1999 academic school year. The 28 schools had a total enrollment of approximately 3,000 students. After legislation was enacted in 2007, chartering authority was placed under the D.C. Public Charter School Board and disaffiliated from D.C.P.S. The governance of D.C.P.S. was also restructured and the district was placed under the control of the mayor. In 2010 about 38% of Washington, D.C. public school students attended 60 charter schools. There are 52 public charter schools in the district, with 93 campuses and 30,000 students. The total number of public charter schools has been reduced from 60 schools on 96 campuses in 2008-09 to 53 schools on 98 campuses as of the 2011-12 school year. However, the addition of grades to the charter schools are still increasing enrollment and decreasing from DCPSA Euro unregistered trademark numbers. Students. Equals health equals, in 2009, 43% of all DCPS public school students were overweight or obese. This was one of the highest rates in the United States. Equals dropout rate equals, in the graduating class of spring 2008, the average freshman graduation rate for DCPS was 56% a year compared with a national average of 74.9%. 
This constituted a large drop from the freshman graduation rate of 68.4% in 2002 and 68.8% as recently as 2005. In just the 2008-09 school year alone, 1,075 black students dropped out of high school. This figure raises concern since there were 1,246 students that dropped out of DCPS schools that year. However, these numbers are not meant to be misleading. The 62.8% freshman graduation rate of black students in 2008 was above the state average. Governance, within DCPS, schools are classified as either a neighborhood school, or a destination school. Neighborhood schools are elementary or secondary schools assigned to students based on his or her address. Destination schools are feeder schools for elementary or secondary institutions from a school a student is already attending. Since the fall of 2009, students may choose a destination school, regardless of their neighborhood location. Locations of all of the schools in the neighborhood divides can be found on the DCPS website. For the school year ending in spring 2007, the DCPS was governed by the DC Board of Education, with 11 members, including two students who had the right to debate but not to vote. Five members were elected and four were appointed by the mayor. The board established DCPS policies and employed a superintendent to serve as chief executive officer of the school district, responsible for day-to-day -day operations. Four board members represented specific geographical boundaries and the board president was elected at large. One condition of the District of Columbia Public Education Reform Amendment Act of 2007 was the creation of DCPS as a separate cabinet-level agency from the D.C. Board of Education. This moved DCPS within the executive branch of the District of Columbia Governmenta Euro specifically, under mayoral control. Currently, this means that DCPS is subordinate to District of Columbia Mayor Vincent Gray. D.C. Mayor Adrian Fenty proposed putting the public schools under the direct control of the mayor's office upon taking office in January 2007. However, this reform to District of Columbia public schools was encouraged by his predecessor and constituents at large. It also placed all of the District of Columbia public charter schools under the care of a new board a Euro District of Columbia public charter school board. Although these schools were previously a part of DCPS, they are now considered to be a separate district controlled by the D.C. Public Charter School Board. The D.C. Council passed the mayor's proposal into law but since the change amended the Home Rule Act, the change needed to gain federal approval before taking effect. D.C. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton introduced H.R. 2080, a bill to amend the D.C. Home Rule Charter Act to provide for the mayor's proposal. H.R. 2080 was passed by the United States House of Representatives under an expedited procedure on May 8, 2007 by a voice vote. After three U.S. Senators initially placed holds on the bill to prevent its consideration in the United States Senate, the Senate agreed to pass H.R. 2080 without amendment on May 22, 2007 by unanimous consent. On May 31, 2007, the bill was presented to the President and President Bush signed H.R. 2080 into law on June 1, 2007. After the standard congressional review period expired on June 12, 2007, the mayor's office had direct control of the superintendent and the school budget. On June 12, Mayor Fenty appointed Michelle Rhee the new chancellor, replacing Superintendent Clifford B. Janey. Equals DC School Choice Incentive Act of 2003 equals. In January 2004, Congress passed the DC School Choice Incentive Act of 2003. The law established a federally funded private school voucher program known as the DC Opportunity Scholarship Program. The OSP distributes vouchers to low income families to cover private school tuition. Because there are more eligible applicants than available vouchers, they are distributed by lottery. In 2010, a randomized controlled trial conducted under the auspices of the Department of Education examined the impacts of the OSP students, finding that it raised graduation rates. Students who were offered vouchers had a graduation rate of 82%, while those who actually used their vouchers had a graduation rate of 91%. By comparison, 
the rate for students who did not receive vouchers was only 70 percent. The study received the Department of Education a Euro unregistered trademark S highest rating for scientific rigor. Over 90% of the study a Euro unregistered trademark S participants were African American, and most of the remainder were Latino American. Further research found that students who received vouchers were 25% more likely to enroll in college than students with similar demographic characteristics who did not receive vouchers. Equals DC Public Education Reform Amendment Act of 2007 equals, the Council of the District of Columbia enacted the DC Public Education Reform Amendment Act of 2007. This act established a DC public school agency based on authority given to the Council in the District of Columbia Home Rule Act of 1973. The Department of Education that was established under the mayor triggered several changes. The largest was already discussed at a Euro DCPCS gained sole authority over chartering and chartered schools, DCPS became subordinate to the mayor a Euro unregistered trademark S office. Secondly, many smaller authoritative changes took place. The first is that the state education office became the state superintendent of education. The four subsections of the district were reaffirmed through location-based state board of education CELCTES. In addition, the smaller eight school election wards were reaffirmed. Finally, the commission was established through this legislature. The commission is the Interagency Collaboration and Services Integration Commission, which includes the mayor, chairman of the Council of the District of Columbia, chief judge of the D.C. Superior Family Court, superintendent of education, chancellor of D.C.P.S., chair of D.C.P.C.S.B. and 14 others. After the 2007 Euro 2008 school year, about one-fifth of the teachers and one-third of the principals resigned, retired, or were terminated from DCPS in response or relation to the passage of the law. A very strong negative impact was initially experienced by DCPS due to the loss. A GAO conducted study recommended that the mayor direct DCPS to establish planning processes for strikes and look to performance reviews from central offices to strengthen accountability. These recommendations were followed and accountability has increased through academic and financial report generation. Increased accountability made way for other small reforms. One example is the implementation of a requirement that students entering ninth grade are now required to sit down with a school counselor and construct a course plan to reach graduation. No child left behind compliance, in accordance with Section 1116, a provision of the No Child Left Behind Act, entitled Academic Assessment and Local Education Agency and School Improvement, the Office of the State Superintendent of Education of the District of Columbia oversees compliance with adequate yearly progress. A large portion of meeting AYP is based on standardized tests performance. The district used the summative assessment called the District of Columbia Comprehensive Assessment System through the 2013-2014 school year, after which it switched to tools from the Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers and the National Center and State Collaborative. Many schools are failing to meet AYP, even though DCPS educators offer support and tools to students to be academically successful. DCPS has created an evaluation tool to assess schools by more than their standardized test scores. They call this a quality school review, which uses the effective schools framework to assess schools through rubrics on topics such as classroom observations, interviews with parents, students, teachers, and school leadership, staff surveys and reviewing artifacts. In 2007, Karen Hess of the National Center for the Improvement of Educational Assessment conducted an analysis that has also gone into the alignment of DCPS standards and the DCCAS ALT, the assessment for students with cognitive disabilities. Budget, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, DCPS had a budget of $1.2 billion and spent $29,409 per pupil in FY 2009 a Euro 10. In 1989 a Euro 90, DCPS reported that it had spent $10,200 per pupil and a decade later, in 1999 a Euro 2000, its reported per pupil expenditures had increased to $11,500. However, 
those figures likely underreport DCPS's actual total per pupil expenditures. In 2012, the Cato Institute's Andrew J. Coulson showed that DCPS's reported per pupil expenditures figures were based on incomplete data. That year, the U.S. Census Bureau had reported that DCPS's 2008-09 per pupil expenditures were $18,181, but DCPS officials had neglected to include about $400 million in spending. Informed by Coulson's observations, the U.S. Census Bureau revised its data collection methods and reported that per pupil expenditures were $28,170. Those revisions are reflected in the Bureau's 2009 Euro 10 reports. In FY 2009 Euro 2010, the district received 6.7% of its total revenues for elementary and secondary education from federal sources. Statistics In 2008, in terms of testing, 36% of students demonstrated proficiency in mathematics and 39% demonstrated proficiency in reading. The average educator was paid $67,000 in 2010. The contract signed in 2010 was expected to raise that figure to $81,000 in 2012. Schools and locations All DCPS schools are located in Washington, D.C., except My Angela Academia Eurosh, which is located in Laurel, Maryland. Many of the district's public schools are undergoing evolving relationships with the central office as they seek to compete for students leaving the system for charter schools. According to school choice researcher Aaron Dillon, in its winning application for federal race to the top funds, DCPS, for example, touted its three models for autonomous schools, the aptly named autonomous schools, which are granted autonomy as a reward for high performance. Partnership schools, which are run by outside organizations that are granted autonomy in the hope of dramatically improving performance. And the DC Collaborative for Change, or DC3, a joint effort of some of the district Euro unregistered trademark s highest and lowest performing schools that have been granted autonomy as a tool for innovating with curriculum and professional development. Equals high schools equals equals middle and junior high schools equals equals elementary schools equals equals other schools equals student counts as of 2003 charter school see also list of parochial and private schools in washington dc references external links district of columbia public schools district of columbia public schools boundary maps